Bro, I want to create AMV like them. It's not possible in DaVinci. Why? It's just not- Shut up, guy. It took four hours just to create that intro. Anyway, let's get started. Cut your clips to match the length of each beat, making them one second long like mine, or adjust according to your music. Add an adjustment clip for each one, then head over to Fusion. Click on the Media and Node, then add two Transform Nodes. Click on the first Transform Node, go to Frame 0, and add a keyframe for size. Move to Frame 25 and add another keyframe. Now, go back to the first keyframe at Frame 0 and increase the size to 6. Click on the Spline icon to open the Graph Editor. In the Spline tab, click on the Size to view it. You click on Size to Fit button, right? Select it and press S on the keyboard. Now adjust the curve to match my example. Let's preview it for a sec. Click on the second transform node and navigate to around frame 10. Move the pivot point to the bottom right corner, ensuring it's properly aligned. This step is crucial. Add keyframes for size and angle. Go to the last frame, which is frame 29 in my case, then decrease the size to 0 and set the angle to 90. Go to the Edges tab and enable Mirror Edges for each Transform node. Bro, it looks weird. Don't worry, we will fix it. Open the Spline tab again. Go to the tab and untick everything except size. Select it and press S on the keyboard. Then create the same curve as mine. Now, untick the size and tick angle. Repeat the process as before and create the same curve as mine for the angle as well. Something is missing. Do you know what it is? Motion blur. Right. Click on each transform node. Go to settings tab in the inspector window and enable motion blur. Increase the motion blur quality to 10. Now that the animation for our first clip is done, let's move to the edit page. Position the playhead in the middle of the second clip, then click on the Fusion tab. Add two transform nodes as before. Click on the first one and go to frame zero. Position the pivot point on the bottom right corner as well. Now go to the inspector window and add keyframes for size and angle. Move to frame 25 and add another keyframe. Next go to the first keyframe and change the size to 6 and angle to minus 90. Open the Spline Editor and replicate the same curves as mine. Click on the second Transform node. Go to Frame 10 and position the pivot point to the bottom left corner. Add a keyframe. Now go to the last frame and decrease the size to zero. Set the angle to minus 90 for this one as well. Don't forget to enable mirror edges. Open the Spline Editor and replicate the same curves as mine. Did you forget to enable Motion Blur? Okay, let's go to Edit Page and move the playhead to the middle of third clip. I will skip the part of adding keyframes because you already know what to do. At frame 0, the size will be 6 and the angle will be 90. By the way, the pivot point will be on the bottom left corner for this one as well. Now make a curve just like these. Hope they will remember to add mirror edges. For the second transform node, go to frame 10 and add a keyframe to size only. Then, go to the last frame and decrease it to zero. Now create a curve like mine. You forgot to enable motion blur this time as well. So here's our final transition. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our other content as well.